Oh, that's good enough. It, this is a short run anyway, so yeah, I think we're good. Oh! <laughs> Whoops! Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to get our hyper tubes on, and we're going to build a road, and we're going to set up a trucking um, line for the coal that we need for our final steel products. I, I was thinking about it, and I decided, you know what, let's do it. Um, it might be more efficient to use the conveyor belt, but I want to play around with the trucking. I haven't done it before, and so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's get started here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we need to do hyper tubes now we've unlocked all of that stuff so let's take a look and see what we need to make those uh, so we want transportation so we're gonna need copper sheeting and steel pipes and we're gonna also need some encased industrial beams for the entrance and some rods and concrete and plates for that stuff. Okay, so because hmm, case industrial beans. Let's uh, let let's take a look at a temporary what we can do as just a temporary setup for that until we set up the main production line. So over here we made all the stuff we needed for the space elevator, and we got a lot of excess, which is just going to go into the sink because uh, we don't need this stuff for anything else. Um, so what I think we'll do is, why don't we get these guys? Uh, this is our this is our stator production here. Yeah, okay, that's our permanent line there. This is all temporary. So what we're gonna do here is, do I have an awesome sink up here? I do. Um, and it does have an extra opening there. And then out of the merger into there. Okay. And that's going to start feeding all that excess into the sink. Uh, speaking of the sink, we already have like over 60 tickets. We have a ton of tickets. Uh, we're Yeah, 68 tickets. Let's print those out now because uh, we are going to want to get some things from the awesome shop. Okay. So that feeds all that stuff into there, and we've stopped the production on these guys. Now what I want to do is I want to set them up to do uh, in case industrial beans for us. There we go. There's our encased concrete encased industrial beams. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so let's go back into here now to make the hyper tube entrance. We're gonna need four encased industrials. We're gonna need some rotors and some pipes. Uh, let's have have a stack of rotors and um, pipes. We're also gonna need the copper sheeting make the tubes themselves and end pipes as well okay so uh what are what's i running over here for can't remember <laughs> uh, i'm gonna go get some more encased beams oh now i remember what it was i wanted to get some more copper sheeting yeah so let's grab a couple stacks of those okay so um hyper tube travel 
there's lots of places we want to build the hyper tubes to but the first place we want to get to is over there uh, I did make an off-camera change too uh, I removed that ungainly ramp and I just put elevators going down and made everything nice and flat over there I like the look of that better um, and we want to, you know, we want to be able to get up to there too, of course, with the hypertubes. Uh, eventually, we'll have them take us everywhere. But let's start with having them go along our road. So what I did is I started the road, and I'm gonna actually, I'm actually gonna make this four wide. Uh, so we have two. Two tiles for the lanes of the road, and then two tile. Well, we might actually be able to get away with three, three wide, or maybe two wide with rails on the side. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, um, this is the road, and it goes all the way over there. I'm gonna remove that ramp and do. We're gonna do a vertical thing again with that too. But uh, let's have the hyper tubes travel along here. And we're going to want, in fact, we need to go down here in a second because I'm not sure how close I made the left edge of this to the rock because that'll kind of determine what we're going to do. we got a monster down there too. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot more room on this side. What if we... I want to see um, what it does if we do put it in. Uh, uh, you know how much it's going to clip into the rock right here. Yeah, it does a little bit. I mean, that would be okay for the shoulder of the road, so to speak. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's go with that. Uh, no, let's not. We don't need to. There's no reason to. <laughs> we don't need to do it. Let's not do it. Got a couple more of those left over. Oh, you know what, though? This is going to be a problem. Because the road's going to go right through here. Oh, man. What we could do, though, is we could run the hypertube along there. But I think I want the hypertube on this side so we can look out over the awesome landscape as we're traveling along it. Okay, so that now that we kind of know that that's the case, what we're gonna do, we have a, a Caterium node down there, but I don't think we really need to tap into it for now, if ever. So let's zoop that. I think we'll make this three wide. Um, so these two will be the lanes. We'll move that pillar over, and this will be kind of like the sh the shoulder, if you will. Unless we want to do rails, which might look kind of cool, also. Okay, let's zoop that back there. I want catwalk crossing here. And then we want to catwalk straight. Actually, no. Well, yeah, we do. But we'll have we'll have openings at regular inter intervals. Yeah, I think that'll look nicer. And actually, then that means this one can be this one here. Just like that. Okay, good. I like that. So we'll go with that. All right, so let's finish running these foundations and rails first. Okay, now, um, as, as you can see, I was originally planning on using this ramp here. But I think instead of doing that, what we're going to do is come up here. I want to determine again where the two coal nodes actually are. 
Um, let's do this. Okay, so it looks like they're both over this way. There's that one there, and then one right over yonder here. Yeah, okay, and these are both pures too. Yeah, okay, cool. So this whole ramp business, I'm, I'm going to take this all back apart. Instead, what we're going to do is... Well, we might actually... Hmm, I might leave this here on this side or at least one of these to get down to the coal yeah okay so let's take this back up and this back up I'll take out that tree later I'm not worried about it right now and this will just be a conveyor line uh, over to the truck station. Okay, so that means that we want to not do that, uh, but move this out to there. And we don't need any of this now. Okay, so I think what we'll do is this is where it goes down here, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's run this out to here. And we don't need any more of this either. Okay, so that's the lane. We're going to have the walkway on that side, so we'll keep this here, too. And we're going to run this all the way into the cliff face <coughs> and then set up a, an actual platform over here for the truck station. And this is just kind of embedded in, into the cliff to give it support on this end. I'm, I'll put some, probably put some pillars or something underneath that at some point too. All right, now what I want to do here is let's remove that and let's make this um, four meter foundations. Um, we need to go vertical. I bet you we have to come out one more. Okay, yeah, let's go vertical. And this is going to be a, like a tower that we'll use for both the hypertube and for the conveyor lines coming down. Um, If we wanted to, I guess we could embed that into the rock. Yeah, let's just leave it. Let's leave it like that. I think we'll leave it like that. Okay, and then this is going to, like I said, be built out more. Uh, I'll go back to Zoop here. Into the truck station platform. Exactly how big it is and how we build it and all that, I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll figure that out later. It'll probably go at least to there, I'm guessing. There's something around here that's making all kinds of noise, like spider noises. I don't know where they are, though. All right, cool. So now that we got that in place, um, what we're going to do now you know what would be neat is to actually run the hyper tube. along the underneath side of the platform. That'd be kind of a pain in the butt to set up. Yeah, I don't think we'll do that right now, but we might do that later. Okay, so let's go to this toolbar. And we're going to start running this on the way all the way back. OK, 
Okay, we're out of rods, so I'm going to have to get that. Get some more rods. Um, yeah, I'll go back to the base, get some more rods. I'm going to fix this, too. And this side of the road, we're probably just going to put, like, these rails on. That's my my plan at this point. Uh, so, anyway, let me go get uh, some more rods so we can finish this up. All right, guys, we are back, and it's ready. Uh, we're ready, rather, uh, to do some hypertubing. So, uh, what I think we're going to do is we're going to put three routes up against this wall. And so, to do that, we have to start with the wall holes. Um, so, we're going to put one right in the center, one here, and one here. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to then use some signs. <clears throat> um, so... That's a two meter sign, portrait sign, yeah. And, oh, we need some quartz crystal for that. So let's go grab some of that real quick. Okay, so we're gonna put a sign here, 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 there, and there. Shenanigans. <laughs> Okay, so this one is going to go south. So we are going to call this uh, south. We're going to keep it real generic for now. I might make it, uh, you know, we might change it up later. Uh, equipment. Other. Buildings. Hypertubes. Okay. Okay, let's copy settings and then save sign settings. And then we're going to paste. Change this to west. Save sign settings. And then here we're going to paste and change this to north. Save sign settings. Okay, so we got that done. Okay, now what we have to do next is we have to... Uh, we're going to grab... That one I might leave there. We're going to put those two there. Okay, and then what we have to do now is grab the entries and put those on the wall sockets. And the power is um, going to kind of go through. The, the nodes are like right in the wall, but that's okay because it, we can just assume that the power is being run through the wall. So I'm okay with that. Okay, and then go from here to here, and into this one. So that one, wait a minute, what? That was weird. Oh, I must have hit the wrong thing. We want the wire, not the socket. There we go, okay. All right, that works. So that gets those set up. Um, okay, so let's do our I hope these aren't too close to each other. I think they'll be okay as long as we just come straight on to the one we want. So let's do the west one first because that's going to be the closest. The idea is just to have it, you know, send us out this way um, to kind of like that first junction. And then we can do another one going down to the coal and another one up here going up to this belt and uh, all that stuff up that way. Uh, so this will be our shortest one. So what I want to do here is I want to go down here and let's take, let's copy this and then let's also raise it up to there, at least temporarily. Okay, now Let's grab our hypertube. So I set up belt uh, or tool belt four for hypertube stuff. We'll connect to that center one. Uh, 
And we're going to run this here. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to like that, though, actually. Well, here, let's do... Let's do that for a second. Okay, now I'm going to take these back off. And I don't know how high up this is going to go. But I want to line it up underneath here. So that's all the higher it'll go. What did these do? Oh, I know what we can do with this. Let's get normal stacking conveyors. So we'll go to logistics and let's put this in eight. Okay, so this should be right in the center of this. Which is right here. And move that up to here. And then if we grab this one, um, let's get rid of that first. There we go. That works. Okay, cool. And then what we'll do is we'll bring the tube down to here. Um, guess we could bring it right here. It's going to gonna slam us right into the this when we get out of it though <laughs> that's kind of the weird thing about it um how could we make that a little bit better because i want i want it to stop here so we can get out and then do either choose to go left or right you know um i have to think about that all right i'm just gonna leave it here for now i might uh, i might change that up later on though okay so let's put the um the end on and now we got to get some power up here so we have some power down here oh let's see let's copy that pole and put it across down there i think that's lined up yeah it looks like it is okay we'll go back to our number one toolbar hook power up to that and then bring this up to uh, right there, I guess. And then hook this up to this corner here. And then run that to there. Okay. So, when we use this going back into the base, because it's shooting us uphill, it goes kind of slow. I mean, it's still faster than, than running. But the cool thing about it is when we come back through this way, we go a lot faster because we're starting, you know, level. So uphill and downhill does, you know, if, ooh, 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 ooh. wow, I'm glad we put a rail. Oh, shit. I'm glad we put a rail there. You can change direction by using your arrow keys. Um, yeah, that's kind of close to that. Um, why, how could we make this better? The, the problem is we got this stupid dirt here. What if we put a one meter on top of here? And then do this. Yeah, I guess that would work. Okay, that way we can set this up so it's nice and straight. So we want this, I think we want this right in the center and that'll give us a 90. Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, let's see if this is going to throw us off into the... Um, rail when we come down it. We should get up the full speed, too, just to really test it. That seems to turn my light off. That's weird. I wonder why it does that. Okay, that's that's acceptable. It doesn't throw us right into the rail. Okay, and then what we'll do is, uh, what, and I'll I'll do all this off camera because it's just really going to be kind of me figuring out 
how to align stuff, but uh, I'll make a tube that goes off that direction, and we'll make another one that's going to go turn right and go down uh, probably to the quartz and then down to the coal factory. Most likely that's what we'll do. Okay, cool. So let's get back in here, and now we're going to make the one for our road. I'm not going to do anything with the north one for now because I don't really have anything to the north of us, uh, so that one will just stay where it is for the moment. Okay, so for the south, this one's going to be a little more involved. So let's go... Uh, we got the road here. Um, one problem that I noticed is that we can't attach the hypertubes to the railing. Oh, wait, can we? Maybe we can. Hold on a second. Oh. Can we... I, I kind of wanted it to be off to the side. Like that. But see, it doesn't want to attach that way. I thought it would be really cool, you know, to have these off to the side and we just travel along the side of it. But if that isn't going to work, this... This looks like it would work. So we just travel this way. Yeah, I, I think that'll work. And, you know, we could even raise it up a little bit so there's more room, you know, if, if we're walking through here, it's not right in our face. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, we'll go with that. So the first thing we need to do is get the tube up here. So... Um, can we use the floor things with this? We can't. Damn it. Okay, that sucks. That kind of sucks. Okay, so that isn't going to work unless we put a foundation in the spot that it has to come up. Which we could do. It's just that the foundation would stick out a bit. Unless we can figure out a way to jury rig it so it doesn't. Hmm. All right, well, let's go downstairs for a minute. So the first thing we want to do is run the line up to here. All right, so I'm going to remove these two for the moment, just so we know where we're at. Um, actually, yeah, okay. So if we take a which one is it? I think it's five. Must snap to a wall or similar. Is it six? We don't want to go through the road, obviously. Uh, four. Oh, four. Okay, so four will attach up there. And I think we need it right in the center of the tile for it to be a right angle. Let's see if that's correct. Oh, no. It can be back uh, quite a bit further than that. Okay. So let's try instead on the seam. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got that part done. All right, now what we need, need to do is probably just grab another one of those and put it all the way out to the edge here. Hmm. Maybe. I'm thinking we might want to actually hold it in a bit. Let's put that there. If it curves up, what's it going to do? It's going into the road. Okay. So let's put this out maybe to here. And we actually don't think we need this now. Oh. Oh, shit. That's not lined up. <laughs> Crap. Okay. 
it's got to go over one more. All right, let's fix it. Okay, cool. So now we know where that's coming up. Let's go back up this way. So the tube should be coming out right there. Okay. So that we don't need over there. What we want to do is we want to put it here. So I'm going to just put it on the edge of this, raise it up one, and let's just see what the tube looks like when we connect it that way. Let's look at it from this angle. Hmm. I think that's perfect, actually. It's straight this way. Um, well, if we wanted it to be a straight 90, we are going to have to hold it back, though. Okay. If we take this away, that kind of sucks, but I can live with it, I think. And we're just not going to be able to have any rails here. Or a catwalk here. Okay, good. Now, um, I think what we're going to want to do, because we're going to be going up this, it's going to be slow. So we might want to put another entrance just to give us a boost once we get up topside. I'm not entirely sure where that should go, though. Um, so why don't we do this? Let's put another one of these down. that okay and then we'll put another entrance here except for it needs well I think it need it needs to go the other direction yeah like that okay now let's start running the tube let's we'll just go down like say two lengths worth okay what I want to test here is by putting that entrance up here will that get us back up to momentum so we're not really slow after having come you know come up the thing here that's what I want to test so we need to get some power to this Okay, so now the test is, will this get us going quickly once we get up the incline? Let's see. So we get up there, come around here. Yeah, it does. Good, because it launches us at, at speed at that point. Okay, good. Now, I don't... I think we need we could have a stop here I guess to get to this end of the base and then maybe make a walkway down on this corner eh. nah I don't think I'm gonna do that I, I think what we'll do is we'll if we if we do that at all we'll make some like internal hyper tubes uh, for inside okay so uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run this tube all the way over to our truck station but we'll have a stop over there too at that area i gotta fix all that too i started working on it didn't get it done and i gotta get power over there too so but that we can run along here in fact i have I had to take that power down, but I'll, yeah, I'll fix that. So once I get that all set up, I'll bring you guys back and show you the end result of the that hypertube transit system. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, I got uh, made some progress on the tubes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the south run here. One of the things I had to do is I had to put a another power um, 
uh, entrance, I guess, on the other side of that tube. When I came through it the first time, I got stuck there, so I fixed that. And then, yeah, this goes around. We got the nice view off to the west there. Flips around here. And then over here by the pole, we've got a jun uh, junction. And I didn't want to make that any closer because otherwise it might throw me right into it. And then if we jump in here, this just takes us over to where we're going to build the truck station. It was pretty nice. I think it worked out, worked out pretty well. Next thing we got to do is we got to get the vertical uh, pipe. Excuse me, hyper tubes red. Uh, both up this tower and then up the, the larger tower back over that way that I got to get fixed and get the power connected back up to that coal miner here. Okay, so um, what we're going to do for that is we should be able to just connect the pipes. Um, I think I'm just going to run it straight up this wall here. So to do that, we're going to want a... I think we're going to want four yeah so I don't know how high up we should have it probably right about there I'm thinking okay and then all the way up to the tip tippy top there we might have to adjust that a little bit more will that reach all the way up there yeah it will okay all right and then we'll put a thing on there oh why is that turn the other way can we get it to go the other direction? Oh, that's weird. I guess not. Hmm. Okay, well, that's the way it is. That's the way it is, I guess. Now, we also need to get power uh, run up there, too. So what I'm going to do here is just run this all the way up the side. And again, we can fine-tune adjust that if we need to. All right, let's go up and see what happens. Kind of weird what it does with your, uh, woo, what it does with your Blade Runners uh, when you do that. Okay, so let's see. This might actually be exactly what we want to have happen here. Um, why is this as high as it is? Don't know. This should be here. Uh, okay. Well, then we'll just make these one meters, and then it evens out. Had something to do with the way that we brought it down from down below, I guess. Okay, so for here, um, what we want to do is... I mean, we don't really have any reason to get off here after we get everything set up. So let's, um, let's temporarily build this here and maybe one out here too. Uh, no, we need to be able to see down there. Okay, so let me see if I can reach that power connection from here. Get out on the edge a little more. Okay, good. So we could put this here, I guess. We're going to want it to come over... Yeah, see, we, we're going to have to lower that because it's sticking up in the air and then it comes back down to there. Okay, so yeah, we need to lower that down a little bit. So if we grab the hyper tube here and bring it to... Oh, it doesn't want to... Oh. Oh, that could work, actually. That could work. It's right in the center. 
if we bring it up here. Is that straight? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's just what we, what we need then. Um, that being the case, though, it's going to be kind of weird with the conveyor belt. Well, not necessarily. We could... Let's do an elbow here. We could run the conveyor belt underneath there as long as we just keep it low enough. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, cool. So let's run this down here. We'll just take it down to there for, for now. I might adjust this a little more later, but that should be okay. Let's get rid of that stuff. Oh, I want to get this tree out of here too. Okay, now we just need to run power down to this end. Since we're going uphill, we might want to that booster thing again. I don't know. Let's just take a look at it and see what it does. Oh, that's good enough. It, this is a short run anyway, so yeah, I think we're good. Oh! <laughs> Whoops! Uh, I guess we need to have a... <laughs> Shit. That needs to curve curve down and come down gently. That just slammed us right into the floor. That's terrible. <coughs> oh, no. How funny is that, man? Didn't even think about that. All right, well, hey, at least we can get back to our stuff real quick and easy. I'm just doing this. All right, you guys. Well, uh, I think it's time for, to wrap up this episode. Um, so what I'm going to do is finish the, the hyper tubes. I'm going to run a vertical one up that really long pole that you see in my crosshairs there and get that all fixed back up. Um, and then I'm going to run one down to the coal, uh, to our coal plant as well. And when that's done, in the next episode, the plan will be that we will set up our truck stations and get our coal delivery going for our our final steel uh, production lights and then it's oil time so yeah guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye